congratulations on the victory. You've had a few minutes to reflect on the fight. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. I um, feel like I could have had a little bit of a faster pace, which is what I wanted. You know, I came out a little slow. My debut wanted to, you know, make smart decisions. So I'm pretty happy with it overall. Very excited. They, they talk about the UFC jitters. Was that a real thing for you tonight? I felt Today. really good, actually. Felt really good. You know, nervous, obviously, taking in kind of the whole week and the whole environment. But um, in the cage, I felt really good. Didn't feel, you know, like I was hesitant because of nerves. Just wanted to be smart. I think one of the things that was very successful for you, for you was the kicks. Was that something you planned on doing or was that something you just saw in the fight as an opportunity? Right. Yeah, we saw it uh, watching film. When she jabs, she's pretty heavy on that lead leg, so I kind of wanted to attack that. Um, it worked out a little bit better than I was thinking it would, but um, it, I definitely noticed it was hurting. Yeah, there's a moment where she almost buckled on it. When that happens, do you have to, like you said, make smart decisions? Do you have to stop yourself from going crazy and just wailing on her? I tried to throw. Like a few, you know, I was like, if I could land probably like two or three more, maybe this would, you know, she wouldn't be able to walk. But um, she did a pretty good job of lifting it up. And I uh, didn't want to just walk in there, you know, eat punches, just trying to attack the leg. So I um, had to kind of pace myself with that. But I definitely knew that hurt. And I don't know how much damage you took in the fight or how the training camp was, but when would you like to get in there again? I'd like to stay busy. Um, so I'd, at least one more time this year, at least. Um, but that's my plan. Cool. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the win. Um, you know, I know your story maybe to get to this point is a little bit different where you competed in Bellator and you had, were in the wrong weight class and you switched. And I know there was probably times where you had to make a lot of adjustments. Do you feel like a sense of vindication at all for those decisions and maybe taking the unusual longer road to get here? Yeah, it it's worth it. Um, you know, I wouldn't be the fighter that I am today if I didn't have like all those ups and downs and like hard fights and in hard moments. So, um, it was hard in that, in the moment, but looking back, you know, that's why I am, you know, the fighter that I am today. And that's why I'm here. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you kind of said, uh, you didn't really feel that nervous in there. I guess, do you feel like that maybe that's part of it is that you've just been kind of through the ups and downs before. So you kind of felt a sense of confidence that regardless of what happened. Yeah, I've had a long career. So really I've been doing a lot of like soul searching, right? Like you need to figure out like who you are, how you fight. I figured out how I fight best. And that's just to be like as calm as possible. Like, um, you know, you won't see any of my coaches smacking me or like trying to hype me up or anything. I just try to stay as calm as possible. And, and I think that for myself is why I'm able to be just, you know, calm in there. Yeah. And, um, obviously she was a former, you know, UFC title challenger. So, I mean, is that another feather in your cap? Like that must feel pretty good. Your UFC debut and you're going and beat somebody with that sort of a, a resume. Yeah, I really like Jessica Penny. You know, I've seen all her fights through Invicta and in the UFC. So I'm definitely a fan. She's a really good, uh, very technical opponent. So I'm really happy that I was able to just share the octagon with her and, and definitely happy that I got the win. And last one for me, um, in terms of when you do have a fighter hurt with the, the leg kicks, is it like almost tough to like not go to the well too many times? Like what goes through your mind? Like, do you try to switch it up? Do you try to get her to think something else is coming or? Do you just have to keep hitting her with the, the kicks? I wanted to land a few more, but um, I was trying to set it up with my punches so that I wasn't like eating punches just to land a leg kick. Um, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't as success successful. I haven't had that happen before in a fight where I've hurt someone with leg kicks like that. So um, learning experience for leg kicks. Um, now that you have your first one in the UFC and you immediately took out a ranked opponent, are you prepared to start calling people out? Or where do you think that you have to go from here now that you may be ranked going forward? Um, my style is just not really a call out. I don't like to call anyone out. You won't really hear me doing that. Um, fights find me and whatever I get offered, I'll accept. So um, that's just kind of been my whole motto, my whole career. Just whatever opportunity I get, I'll take it. Great, thanks. Hey, Emily, how are you? Good. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, nickname, Gordinha. Where did that come from? So my, my coach is Brazilian. So Gordinha is Portuguese, basically a little chunky. Um, when I walked into the gym eight years ago, I was not as disciplined as I was, you know, I am today. So, um, hard weight cuts, too many donuts on the weekends, you know, stuff like that gave me my nickname and it just kind of stuck because I still love food, but I just have it under control now. 